Hi there, Nick Foley with Casa Customer Support. In this tutorial, we'll be walking through how to create a watch-only wallet in Electrum. Now, what a watch-only wallet does is essentially you're recreating your Casa Multisig wallet in Electrum. Now, you can use this to verify addresses and other information about your Casa wallet independently without having to trust Casa. So here in my Casa app, if I scroll down and I look at my transaction history and I tap receive, Casa app is showing me a Bitcoin address here. Well, how do I know for sure that this Bitcoin address is part of my multi-sig key set and then I'll be able to spend funds once it arrives? And the answer to that is to create a watch only wallet. So you can verify this information using an open source third party tool, in this case, Electrum. So I'm gonna go over to our article here in our knowledge base. Article is called Creating a Watch Only Wallet in Electrum. And we're just gonna walk through this step by step as stated here in the article. So prior to doing this, we're gonna need a laptop or desktop computer that can run Electrum. We'll need our phone, an iOS or Android device with Casa app. Um, and you'll need your hardware wallet. Right here, I have my Trezor One. And optionally, you can use an encrypted messaging app that runs on both devices. So the reason that it, uh, you'll optionally need a uh, encrypted messaging app that you can run both on your phone as well as your laptop is because you're going to need to get the public keys for each of your keys. And that is shown to you in Casa app. So one way to do this is to open up Casa app. We're gonna select which account. Okay, here we're in basic multi-sig and you can tap on the key. So if I wanted to view the public key that's associated with this particular key for the Casa recovery key, I would tap that recovery key and I would tap view public keys and then Bitcoin account. And then this shows me the public key associated with this specific key in my multi-sig key set. This is one of the three keys that we'll need to recreate this wallet in Electrum and create that watch only wallet. You could do the same thing with each of your other keys. Here's the mobile key, for example. I can tap view public key, Bitcoin account, and it shows me the public keys associated with that wallet. Same thing for the hardware wallet. Now what you can do is you can copy this and then you can share this using that encrypted messaging service that we discussed. It could be Signal or something else similar, something that you have access to on both your uh, phone as well as your laptop computer so you can transfer that information. Another option, if you don't want to copy and paste these and send them encrypted, is to get the sovereign recovery information. And that contains everything that we need um, in order to create this watch-only wallet in Electrum. To do that, I'm gonna tap the account tab in the app, and I'm gonna scroll down where it says send sovereign recovery info. Now the sovereign recovery info is what we would, is the information that we would need to totally recreate our wallet and actually spend funds outside of CASA if something were to happen to CASA. We're not actually gonna do this here. We're just creating a watch only wallet. So the wallet that we're creating in Electrum is just a way to view information about your keys if somebody were to have access to that Electrum app with this information, they would just be able to see your Bitcoin. They wouldn't actually be able to spend your Bitcoin. So I'll show you what that email looks like. If I go over here, I have it pulled up in a tab. Here we'll just be using this information here is the Bitcoin public keys. And this is the same information that we found when we tapped on each individual one and we were viewing the public keys. This is the same information here that's contained in this email. So we'll follow our, along with our instructions. I'm gonna scroll down in this article uh, to where it says, set up your watch only wallet account. So once I have downloaded and verified Electrum, I'm gonna open it up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I am going to create a new wallet in Electrum here. And I'm gonna name this wallet five, very creative name, I know. Hit next. And we're going to select multi-signature wallet here, and we're going to click next. And because I am using a two of three multi-sig key set here, I'm going to select the amount of cosigners as three cosigners requiring two signatures on the wallet. So I'm going to hit next. And next step is we're going to add cosigner one of three. In this, in this instance, it will be the CASA recovery key. 
So I'm going to click Use a Master Key and select Next. And next, it says paste the CASA recovery keys YPUB, or the extended public key, um, from the file or encrypted chat and click Next. So I'm going to go back over here to this Sovereign Recovery Info, and you'll notice that I have the recovery device public key right here. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste that into Electrum. And I'm going to click Next. It'll show you a master public key here. It's not necessary to retain that information right now or write it down. I'm going to click Next. And we're on to Cosigner 2 of 3. So here in Cosigner 2 of 3 is going to be the mobile key. So we're going to choose uh, Enter Cosigner Key and then click Next. And the next step here in the article is paste the mobile keys YPUB from the file and click Next. So I'm going to switch back over here. And back in my Sovereign Recovery Instructions, I have that mobile device key. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste that into this Electrum window. I'm going to click Next. So the next one is going to be your hardware keys. So for this part, I do need to physically connect my hardware device to my computer. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to click Cosign with hardware device, and I have this physically plugged into my computer now. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to select my device, click Next, and enter my PIN code. OK, so it's detected that we have P2SH SegWit multisig. If you get that option, you can select that. And we're going to enter the derivation path. So the derivation path is also in those Sovereign Recovery instructions. So I'm going to copy that derivation path. And I'm going to put that derivation path in here to Electrum. And then I'm going to click Next. Here, you can optionally set a passphrase for your Electrum app itself. I'm not going to be putting significant funds on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just click Next at this point and choose not to encrypt it with a password. All right, so what pops up next here is our Wallet 5, is our Electrum watch-only wallet. So you notice right off the bat that I have one transaction that's showing here in my Electrum wallet. And that transaction is the exact transaction here that I have in CASA app. It's this deposit that I made earlier today. Now, how I would verify an address is I go over here to addresses in Electrum, and it'll show me all of the addresses that are associated with this wallet. So if I tap Receive in CASA app, and down at the bottom, it shows my address here starts with 3AKJ. If I look, I can verify in Electrum that, OK, yes, this address, starting with 3AKJ, is in fact my multisig wallet. This address is associated with my key set. So in that way, I can verify that this address is part of my wallet. And later on, when the app generates a new address, when I make a deposit, I can verify that address as well. Let me tap Receive here. And I'll go to my history. And what I'll do is I'll make a quick deposit to this app. I have a, a, a second phone here that I'm using. So I'll just scan the, uh, the QR code here. And I'm going to send some Bitcoin here. OK, so you notice in the app, it says new transaction detected. I've received 0 0.00037827 Bitcoin. And you can see that that transaction showed up in our watch only wallet in Electrum. It's uh, currently an unconfirmed transaction for that same amount. But you notice that essentially what happened here in CASA app was mirrored in Electrum. So when I go to spend, you can send the funds uh, from CASA app, initiate the transaction. And in the case of this two of three, you'll need to apply at least two signatures outgoing transaction. So in this case, it'll be my mobile key as well as my hardware device key. So I hope this tutorial helped um, in terms of explaining what a watch only wallet is and why it's valuable and how to set that up in Electrum. And I hope this does one more thing to help our CASA customers sleep better at night. 
thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.